Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Friday the 13th. Whew, here we go, 10 minutes till 4 in the morning. My name is Rich. Not a cloud in the sky as I make this this morning. There are a lot of things I love about summer, but this heat this year, it just seems relentless. I mean, we're back to the mid-90s today. We're back to triple-digit heat indices. There will be some cooling storms around, and big heat produces big storms. Some of you were involved with some uh, large thunderstorms yesterday that really put on a show. We'll uh, look at the weekend forecast. We may have to be dodging raindrops from time to time. The rain chances are getting better for the weekend. Well, here, let me walk you through the details day by day. Here we go. Once again this morning, do you see that upper-level heat dome plopped right over us? That's why we're so hot. The relentless heat continues today. More middle 90s, more ridiculous heat indices. I think we had 103 yesterday. I had 115 at my house. I see some uh, 107s, 108s. It's just going to be really crazy, so stay hydrated. Uh, Radar will be active again today. Yesterday, there were a handful of big boomers, and I think that's going to be the case today, and especially over the weekend, with scattered storms around. Not every town gets one. High in the mid-90s, heat index triple digits, low tonight in the mid-70s, so even at night it doesn't cool down. But over the weekend, that uh, ridge kind of flattens out. In fact, a little trough develops, and that's going to be conducive for better rain chances. In fact, um, you know, I think the rain chances are as high as... 50% by Saturday, and probably even better rain chances on Sunday and Monday. Scattered to numerous storms will be around in the afternoon and evening hours, cooling down some lucky communities, but still causing a lot of dangerous lightning um, each day, so keep that in mind. Uh, Tuesday, the rain chances are still good, but as we look towards the middle of the week, there's a little frontal system that'll try to enter Alabama on Wednesday. Usually, these fronts don't make it all the way through. The GFS suggests that the storms, uh, that the front may make it into South Alabama. I don't know. That's questionable, and that's way out there, but we'll keep an eye on that front next week. Meanwhile, the rain chances are very high tomorrow, and especially Saturday, or Sunday, Monday, uh, even into Tuesday, the rain chances are better than normal, with temperatures generally in the low 90s over the weekend with clouds and showers, and then um, maybe a 40% chance Wednesday as that front enters the state. So we've got mid-90s today, then we're back to the summertime normal of lower 90s for the next few days, right on into the early part of next week. What about the beaches? Well, the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City, the rain chances are escalating as well. Only about a 30% chance today, but as high as 50% by the time we get to Sunday. So uh, just be flexible. Temperatures in the upper 80s, water temperature now at 85 Speaking of the water, let's go to the tropics, and there's a, now a, the National Hurricane Center says a 30% chance uh, of Burl uh, redeveloping out there in the tropical Atlantic uh, behind the heels of uh, Chris, which is now off the board. Meanwhile, the rest of the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and Gulf of Mexico, relatively quiet, but we do see a bunch of flare-ups from the African coast uh, all the way to the islands in the tropical Atlantic, and we'll keep an eye on those over the next few days, but nothing about to develop. And you can stay on top of the tropics uh, with our advance um, and also uh, stay on top of where the storms are with our advanced interactive radar on our weather app. Push notifications for severe weather alerts even when you're out of town. Go to the App Store, search Rich Thomas Weather. Let me repeat something that I said yesterday. Uh, We're having a terrible uh, lightning death year here in the United States this year with 13 deaths so far, all here in the southeastern U.S. So uh, take it easy. I worry about people who are going to be out on the lake this weekend uh, or on a golf course or out in the pool. Uh, Be very aware that if you hear thunder, uh, you know, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. So uh, please keep that in mind this weekend. Live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg J and Emily. We're also live on CBS 8 and ABC 32. I do a weather chat with Ryan Sinnott at 5.50 a.m. Then at 6.40 a.m. we are live with their morning crew interacting with our morning crew. And sometimes that's a lot of fun. In fact, most days it is. Uh, no video tomorrow morning because it's Saturday. But there will be a weather blog for you early in the morning, usually right around dawn on Saturday and Sunday morning, and then uh, another video on Monday, and your forecast, whatever you wanted, across the dial, twice an hour on eight radio stations, the Blue Water family of stations. It's already warm out here this morning. Have a great day, but stay cool. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.